Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mrs. Brown's Boys. Say hello to the queen of Dublin town. She's Mrs. Brown. Oh, Mrs. Brown. Don't you wish her girlfriend was hot like me? Hello. <clears throat> I'm just having a break from the cleaning. <laughs> Gotta say that like it was a hobby. It's not. Shut up, you fucking mutt! <laughs> I better feed him. Oh. Here's Brackiness! <laughs> Jesus, I never opened a feckin' thing. Here's Brackiness! <laughs> I had six children I reared on my own. They weren't as much trouble as you. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yes. Cleaning. It's not as if it doesn't go unnoticed. I mean, I had a visit the other day from Father Quinn, our local priest. <laughs> he took one look around the house and he said, Mrs. Brown, yourself and God keep a lovely home. <laughs> I said, thank you, Father. But I'm thinking you should see it when God has it on a thick and own. <laughs> Excuse me, that's Grandad banging down. What do you want, Grandad? I don't feel well. Yeah, you're 92. You're not supposed to fucking feel well. <laughs> I suppose I've always been cleaning. When I was 18 years of age, I met and married Roger Brown uh, because of a condition I had called pregnancy. <laughs> the next day, I started cleaning. <laughs> Mummy. Yes, Daddy Love. What's wrong with Grandad? I wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> he found his budgie dead this morning. Ah, oh, he must be upset. Oh, he's at that age, love. His budgie dies, he thinks he's going to be next. <laughs> With a bit of fucking luck! <laughs> Mammy! Maybe he is sick. Don't take any chances. Call the doctor. At 80 euro a visit. He's no health insurance, Cathy. At least he's insured for a fucking funeral. <laughs> Mammy! Fine. I'll call the doctor. Cathy, I was thinking about the budgie. I was in about we bury him down the end of the garden. You know where we buried your rabbit. Daddy said he gave my rabbit to a farmer. <laughs> Where he'd have space to run around the fields and be happy. No, he killed him. <laughs> Very quick, little ham. <laughs> oh, whatever. My hair's a mess. Heading out on the big date, love. It's not a big date, Mummy. It's just a quiet drink. Quiet drink? That's what all men say. They think that vodka's a lubricant that gets your knickers to slide off easier. <laughs> well, you may laugh, but I'm telling you. One minute you're sipping pina coladas, and the next you have your legs up in stirrups and the doctor screaming, Don't burst till I tell you! I keep that in mind, so... You do that. Why do I bother? Right, I'm off. Do you want a cup of tea before you go, love? No, Mammy, sir, I'm running late. Oh, don't be breaking your neck, love. He'll be late as well. Did Daddy always come late? <laughs> That's none of your fucking business. See you later, Mammy. Keep them on. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yes. I I'm not just a cleaner, you know. <clears throat> I have a stall. I sell vegetables and fruit. I suppose I'm a businesswoman. <laughs> I don't like customers who poke. They come over and they just maul your vegetables without being asked to. I do say, excuse me, missus, that's a banana, not a willy. <laughs> it doesn't get bigger if you squeeze it. <laughs> there goes happy feet. I better go in and check what's happening in the North Pole. <laughs> Hello, Dermot, son. Hello, Mammy. I'll get you a cup of tea. What, what are you promoting this week? Chocolate biscuits. Oh. <laughs> what kind? Kit Kats. <laughs> Lovely. Your granddad banging down again. I swear that man thinks I'm on a fucking bungee rope. <laughs> what do you want now? I think I'm dying. Yeah, well, call me when you're fucking sure. <laughs> I, I, I'd better call the doctor for him to come out tomorrow. Damn it, love. 
Quack, 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 quack. What's wrong, love? Why are you such a sad little penguin? You're not in trouble with the law again, are you? No, Mammy. It's Maria. Ah, oh, the lovely Maria. We've broken up. Bitch, I never liked her. <laughs> what did she do? She's not a bitch, ma. And she didn't do anything, it's just... To be honest, Mammy, I'd rather not talk about it right now. I understand, love. What happened? <laughs> Mammy, I'm not talking about it. Fine. I'll bring the doctor for you, Grandad. Why don't you slip into the fridge and relax? <laughs> it's a shooting pain, up the back and then across the shoulders. How long has he had it? Not here, me! <laughs> Just there! Mrs. Brown, I'm here to examine Grandad. You're wasting your time with him? He's booked. <laughs> it's only a matter of time, isn't it, Grandad? Am I dying? Yes, Friday. <laughs> What did he say? He wants to know if he's dying. Mrs. Brown. I tell him that every week. Should see his booking face on Saturday. <laughs> so what is it? What's wrong with him anyway? I'll have to run some tests. More feckin' money. What did he say? He's going to run some tests. Oh. Yeah, I need a sample of his urine and a sample of his stool. What's he saying? <laughs> he wants your underpants. <laughs> Can you not do all this in hospital? Only in an emergency. Emergency? God. And I wouldn't have a bed for about three weeks. Three fucking weeks? Grandad, I need you to close your mouth when I put it in. He's never heard that before. <laughs> I'm afraid I'll have to do a rectal reading. No. Would you help me, Mrs. Brown? With fucking pleasure. Come on, Grandad. Come on. Up you get. Bend over for the dog. Bend over. Bend over. Now, look at the birdie. Look at the birdie. Look at... Oh, look at the little birdie. Are you ready? Oh, 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 Happy oh, birthday oh, to oh, you. Oh, Would you like a cup of tea, Doctor? Uh, I wouldn't mind another one of those. It's in the kitchen. Grandad, stay there. I, I'll get you a cup of tea, Grandad. <laughs> I wish you could see it from this side. You look like a big buck and toffee apple. <laughs> on the television, Grandad. Ooh. Grandad, what are you doing there in that stage? Will you fix yourself? <laughs> Sit down, Grandad. No. Sit down. <laughs> Grandad, come on. Sit down. <laughs> now, Grandad, isn't that much better? <laughs> Well, now we're going to play treasure hunt. Oh. <laughs> bend over for the doctor. Bend, no, bend over for the doctor. No, Mrs. Brown, I'm afraid it's gone. Gone? I'm not booking pay for that. You give that back. Wait a minute, gone. Uh, doctor, is that dangerous? <laughs> well, we get him into hospital today. We'll explore the cavity then. What? He's going potholing. Goodbye, Mrs. Brown. Goodbye, Doctor. Now, you've heard of Doctor Doolittle. There goes Doctor Do Buck All. <laughs> You're going to hospital, Grandad. You're not coming. Book him back. <laughs> Mummy. What, Cathy? Have you seen psychology today? I know it's in an awful state. I don't know what to do. Maybe smaller classes, bigger teachers? No, Mummy, me magazine. I left it down here last night. Did you see it? No, I didn't. And if he left it on that armchair, it's probably up his arse. <laughs> like a Dyson he has. <laughs> oh, shut up, Grandad. It's a thermometer, not a fucking submarine. <laughs> Cathy, I'm really worried about Dermot and Maria. Mammy, it's best if we all just butt out and let them sort it out themselves. What if I wish to speak to Maria? I, I mean, I could, I could do a butchers butchers galley. Mammy, <laughs> of all people, you stay out of this. I mean it. Now, promise me you won't interfere. Me? Interfere? (laughs) 
Biscuit, Maria. Thank you. I, I cut the edges so they fit in the mug. <laughs> oh, I see. So, Maria. <laughs> why are you torturing my son? Excuse me? Well, you've obviously, you've obviously done something to upset him. How can we make us right? Maybe if you apologised. Me? Apologise? That's the spirit. <laughs> I don't like to see him upset. Mrs Brown, I've no idea what Dermot has told you about what's going on, but maybe I should say I'm sorry, all right. Sorry I ever met him. Sorry I allowed myself to fall in love with him and sorry I ever got involved with his family. And sorry he has to put up with such a domineering matriarch as you. I was hoping for something shorter. <laughs> Dermot, you're home. Just in time. Maria has something she wants to tell you. You yeah. have? Tell him, tell him, tell him. Yeah. I hope you and your mother be very happy together. Keep it short, keep it short. Now get stuffed! <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea, love? What the hell happened here, Mammy? What Mom? the hell happened? That's it, say. I, was, I gave him biscuits. You know, tell me, but you, I couldn't. Oh, Jesus! And she burst out and then... <laughs> no wonder you fucking dumped her. I didn't dump her. She broke up with me because I wouldn't move in with her. Leave home? Yes, she wants us to move in together. Oh, damn it, it's far too early for that. I'm 33. Exactly. <laughs> Mammy, I wish you'd stay out of things. And for once, mind your own business. You are my business. I'm your mother. Aww. It's a man dressed up as a fucking woman. That's Mrs. Brown. Oh, Mrs. Brown. I believe your date was a disaster, Kathy. I wouldn't say that, Willie. Me just asked me out for a drink. Oh, a drink? Yeah, that's that's man talk for what colours your knickers. <laughs> oh, you may laugh. I'm telling you, men. Preverts. <laughs> They're all looking for the one thing and they don't need a compass. <laughs> Will you stop it, Mummy? He just wants to go out and have a talk. Talk about doing it. <laughs> What's that me? My date was not a disaster. So when are you seeing him again? I'm not. Disaster. disaster. <laughs> Where's my fucking fags? You left them in the kitchen. Oh, shake it. <laughs> Sorry, Winnie, what we say? <laughs> Shagna's got herself a new yoke. Actually, he's a gentleman. They're the ones you have to feck and watch. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Opens the door for you. Yeah. Takes your coat off you. Yeah. Puts your chair up when you go to sit down. Yeah. Dirty, Dirty bastard. bastard. <laughs> That's all put on. Mm. He just wants to play hide the sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Will you stop it, Mummy? Not all men are sex maniacs. Yes, they are, aren't you, Winnie? Remember we went to see that film? Oh, what was it called? The one with the sword and the man on the motorbike. Uh, radiator. Gladiator. Gladiator. <laughs> There we were, two women on our own, going yeah. to the pictures. Now, we looked well. We did. We, we looked well. Yeah. Uh, we had our Liverpool hairdos. Oh, yeah. I had mine like Silla Black. She had hers like Buck and Ken Dodd. <laughs> but no matter. Well, we were in that picture house about five minutes, that's all. Five minutes? Five like, minutes sitting down and... Uh, I, I can't even say it. Like, Come on. Tell, tell them, Winnie, tell them. Well, this, this fella came over. <laughs> Sat right down beside Winnie, right, right beside, beside her. Dirty. He started staring at her, staring at her he was. Yeah, and what does he do? Vomit. Vom no, he doesn't vomit. <laughs> no, took his willy out. Out. Dirty bastard. Oh, my God. I know. Winnie said to me, Agnes, look. Now, I just took a glance. <laughs> oh, God. What? He started playing with us. <laughs> Poor Winnie was disgusted. I was disgusted. She was fucking disgusted. <laughs> well, why didn't you move? We couldn't. He was using Winnie's hand. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> Jesus, you put 
pull a demo when he's hands, he's nicked your chunky jumper. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, it's because of weirdos like him that I carry this. What in the name of God is that? It's a taser gun. If it was me he sat beside, I'd give him one jab of this and he'd be electrocuted. And she wonders why she can't get a man. Vibrators. I beg your pardon, me. Well, nowadays, that's what the women do. Get them vibrators. Winnie, will you shut the fuck up? <laughs> Honest, Agnes, they do. I think I might get one myself. <laughs> well, make sure and get one that takes diesel. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine her with a vibrator? Winnie, are you coming to bingo on the bus? No, I'm on the vibrator. <laughs> Oh, Winnie, I give you a week and you won't have a tooth left in your head. <laughs> oh, Winnie, shut up that fucking dirty talk. <laughs> yes, is that Ward 15? I I'm inquiring about Mr. Brown. Brown. Up his arse, that's him, yes. <laughs> Very generous, why? What did he do? Put him on, please, will you? Hello, Grandad. Listen, did you fill out a form there this morning? Yes. What did you take off on it? Liver. Kidneys. Heart. That was a donor form. No, it wasn't the book and breakfast menu. You go back to her and make sure you come home with all the bits you went in with. Goodbye. That man is getting fucking worse every day. <laughs> Mummy. Yes, love. I really enjoyed those few drinks we had last night. Well, you had enough of them. <laughs> yeah, one more vodka had been under that table. Ah, uh, one more pint of cider had already been under that book and bear, man. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't, Mummy. Would you? Oh, don't be ridiculous, Cathy. So long as I had sex, I can't even remember who gets tied up. <laughs> Sharon. It's open, Sharon! How are you, Mrs. B? How are you, Finn? You right, Cathy? Yeah. Where are you off to? I'm going to get my legs waxed. It's two weeks since I had them done. I could grate carrots with my kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> Mammy, will you keep an eye on my taser for me? It's cool. charging. When the red light goes out, just plug it out. Red light out, plug out. Hey, Cathy! Seriously, love. What am I going to do about Dermot and Maria? I think you've done enough. Yeah, I have an idea. Cathy, you're training to be a psychologist. Why don't you give them a counselling session? Counselling? That's not a bad idea, Sharon. Uh, no, 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 no. Look, we, we, maybe we should talk about no, this. No, Mammy. Sharon's right. Counselling it is. Uh, I'm going to talk to Maria right now. No, no. Later, Mrs. B. Uh, yeah, later for you, Sharon. Right back at you. Uh, uh, Sharon, uh, uh, Cathy, come back. Look. Cathy, you're only an amateur. You're not even qualified to fucking counsel yet. For God's <laughs> Cathy, Cathy, come back, love. Cathy! <laughs> Cathy, love! She shouldn't be counting it. Hello? Fickin' counselling. No counselling in my day. You must be joking. Me and your father had a problem. We couldn't run off to a counsellor. No way, Jose. We sorted out ourselves, like adults, into a room on our own. And I knocked the shite out of him. <laughs> We didn't need a counsellor. We needed a book and referee. <laughs> well, we're nearly ready to get started. <laughs> oh, don't mind me. I'm just a fly on the wall. A fly on the wall. <laughs> Mammy. I think everybody would be more comfortable if you weren't here. Would they? It's a pity everybody doesn't pay the book and rent. <laughs> All right, but Mammy. What? Please don't interfere. Fly, wall, me. <laughs> <laughs> OK, then. Let's begin. The badges. <laughs> We're all supposed to have badges. Badges? Yeah, badges, you know. You all have a badge. My name is Agnes. I am a book and lunatic. <laughs> 
No, Mammy, you don't get badges. No, you do, love. You get badges in these things. I see that on the telly. Everyone gets a badge. No, you don't, Mammy, and that's the end of it. Fine. You forgot the badges. <laughs> now, I please. have stickers upstairs if you want. Them. Please. I'm just trying to help you out of your badge situation. I don't have a badge situation. Obviously, because you don't have booking badges. <laughs> Would you shut up about the damn badges? I did not forget the badges. We're just not having badges. Badges would be pointless in this situation because we don't need them. God's sake, Cathy, calm down. <laughs> You're making a big thing out of nothing. Do you need a badge, Maria? No, you need a badge. I don't need a badge. We don't need the badges. Book your badges. <laughs> Maria, what do you Miss. think started all of Miss. this? Miss. <laughs> Mummy. Is this you not interfering? No, it's me looking for me left arm. <laughs> All right, Mummy. The floor is yours. The whole booking house is mine. Don't go... <laughs> I just want to say that this is Dermot's home. So? Dermot should go first. Mummy, it doesn't matter who goes first. Then start with Dermot. No, Mummy, I will not start with Dermot. Now, if you don't mind, there's a system for doing this. Is there? Then how come it doesn't matter who goes first? I beg your pardon? You can't have system and it doesn't matter in the same sentence. Imagine if that was a system for flying aeroplanes. And the pilot coming into land. Oh, uh, uh. Excuse me, Captain. Captain, whatever your name is, because we've no booking badges. <laughs> and the wheel's down. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a nice way to start your two weeks in Fungarola? You know what, Mummy? What? You do this every time. Oh, don't exaggerate, Kat. You never flew an airplane me booking life. <laughs> you mess everything up when I try to do my own thing. Oh, you're getting paranoid. Am I? Well, what about Teddy Brannigan? Oh, you've gone very quiet now, Mummy. Feeling a bit guilty, are we? Certainly not. <laughs> Teddy Brannigan. Hey, Jesus, that was a long time ago. Yeah, it was, Mummy, but you still remember it, don't oh, you? Oh, I remember, all right. You were 16 years of age. Not a titty to your name. I was going to get you glasses at the time just so people didn't know which way you were booking facing. <laughs> Neighbours used to say, oh, here's Cathy with the two backs. <laughs> Teddy Brannigan used to go up and down our road at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> If you ever got a motorbike, he'd be booking dangerous. <laughs> and you running behind him with the helmet on you. I was in love. Love my arse. What would you know about love at 16 years of age? Especially to a tug like that. He was not a tug. He was a tug. He walked around this place like a hard man. <laughs> Mummy, if you had your way, I'd never get a man. Well, it would help if you'd stop booking and electrocuting him. <laughs> I saved you. You saved me? Don't try and thank me now. <laughs> I've no intention of thanking you. I don't know what you're talking about. You wouldn't have been happy. Well, I'm not happy now. Well, maybe you should be talking to yourself and leave them two alone. <laughs> this is a waste of time. Fine. It's not just Teddy Brannigan, is it, Mummy? No. No man I ever meet will be good enough for you, will he? Where's me violin? <laughs> I'm going to my room. Go to your room. I'm staying oh. here. Oh! Jesus! How could you do that? How could you beat your mother? I brushed you off beat you. me. Oh my God, it's gone dead. <laughs> oh God, it's gone. It's spreading. It's spreading. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, I can't turn right. <laughs> oh gee. I'm going. Go! <laughs> Walk out that door. Don't turn around now. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Kathy! 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 Don't bring me up them fucking stairs! You saw that. She booking attacked me. 
This is all because you forgot to book and budgies. <laughs> I tell you now, if Jesus Christ appears to me and asks me to sacrifice a child, <laughs> she's booking gone. <laughs> Well, I feel much better after that. <laughs> so do I. I'm so sorry, Maria. No, Dermot, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have made such a big deal about us moving in together. Yes, you should. You were right, Maria. So you want us to move in together? On one condition. What? Will you marry me, Maria? Well, yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's go down to Foley's for a drink and tell everyone. <laughs> mm. I thought that went very well. <laughs> Yeah, Mummy, you did. It was a great idea. Oh, thanks very much, though. I'll get you a cup of tea. <laughs> I swear to God, it's in a lighter fluid and I'd burn his bed. <laughs> what do you want now, Grandad? Who put me teeth in the black pyjama top? Who put the ram in the ramalama ding dong? <laughs> Can't he up and see what he wants and tell him if he doesn't go to sleep, I'll come up and take his booking temperature. <laughs> Hey, Kathy, come here, love. Just for you. What's this? Encyclopedia Britannica. <laughs> it's a phone number. Yes, it's Teddy Brandigan's. I was down at my kickboxing classes and... <laughs> well, I overheard some women talking and, you know, I don't like gossip, but you can't but hear it. <laughs> Teddy Brandigan's wife faked off on him two years ago. Left him on his own with two young children. Well, it's not easy on your own with young children, and I know that. I just thought maybe a phone call might cheer him up, you know, like, you know. Anyway, that's his number. Thank you, Mummy. You're welcome. I mean it. Really. Thank you. I know you do. That's what we do, love. Mothers, you know. That's what we feckin' do. <laughs> so that's it, I suppose. I, I, I'm not a cleaner or a, a businesswoman. I'm a mother. And, and that's, that's what we do. <laughs> He's still a book and tug. <laughs> Who are you talking to, Mammy? Nobody, no, well, nobody important. <laughs> Just myself. <laughs> Good night. Say hello to the Queen of Dublin Town. As the best mama ball, she wears the crown. A mother hen watching all her chicks. A sassy old lady for her tricks. It's a safe bet she'd never let. Get her down. She's Mrs. Brown. That's Mrs. Brown. 